Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we're going to go over the Prime Mark Reynolds player program. This is part of the fifth inning program. When you unlock this Mark Reynolds, you get 20 program stars. Also, once you unlock him, you put him in the Moonshots event and get five RBIs with him, and you get another 20 program stars. So it's super big to get this Mark Reynolds as soon as possible. That way you get 40 program stars for the fifth inning program. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. That way I'm known doing a good job. Comment down below what you think about the Mark Reynolds, as well as what you think about having to get five RBIs with them. Like I said, my best advice for that is throw them in the moonshot event. Whether it's this one that's right-handed batters against left-handed pitching or the free-for-all moonshot event that should be coming out next week. Either way, I think that's the easiest way to get the five RBIs. Guys, let's go over what I think is the best way and the easiest way to unlock this prime Mark Reynolds. So going to the moments here, there's six moments to do with the Mark Reynolds. The, like the one of the first ones is record two hits and get an extra base hit on all-star difficulty. Pretty much there are six of these. For seven points each, you want to do all six, gives you 42 program points. Once you've done the moments, go into missions, go play the Diamondbacks on all-star difficulty or higher. The way to play the computer on all-star higher difficulty is done like this. You're going to go out to the main menu where it says play. You're going to go to extended play. You're going to hit play versus computer. Once you're in the play versus computer screen, you're going to find the Arizona Diamondbacks. Once you find the Arizona Diamondbacks, you're going to switch the difficulty from Rookie to All-Star. Once you've done that, you just go in here, you play them with their Diamond Dynasty team. I recommend playing as the home team. That way you only have to play eight and a half innings. You just have to beat them. Another thing you can do while doing this is one of your daily missions should be grind innings with whatever team. Load up some of those players in your team because you got to play a nine-inning game. It's only 15 innings to those types of players. So get two guys in your lineup, bada-bing, bada-boom. You can double up a little bit here, get yourself some program stars as well as get yourself the extra eight player program points for the Mark Reynolds to unlock them. All right, after beating the Arizona Diamondbacks and doing the six moments, you will have the 50 program points needed to unlock the Mark Reynolds. As you can see, at 10 program points, you get 500 stubs. At 20 program points, you get four live series Arizona players and 100 stubs. There's going to be two bronze, two silver. At 30 program points, you get 1,000 stubs. 40 program points, you get two Diamondbacks, silver, and bronze players, and then 250 stubs. At 50 points, you get this 90 overall prime Mark Reynolds and 500 stubs. Let's go ahead and see what this prime Mark Reynolds looks like. This is the prime Mark Reynolds, 90 overall, third baseman for the Arizona Diamondbacks, right-handed throwing, right-handed batting, with secondary position of first base, diamond hitting and silver defense. It's his prime card. I will say that Mark Reynolds' prime in real life probably comprised the four seasons from 2008 to 2011, which was when he was 24 years old to 27 years old. In that stretch, his best season, he batted 260, had an on-base percentage of 349, had a 543 slugging in an 892 OPS. He had a 3.3 war, hit 44 home runs, and had 102 RBIs. In four consecutive years within his prime, he had 28 home runs, 44 home runs, 32 home runs, and 37 home runs. The last season of his prime, he played with Baltimore. The thing about Mark Reynolds, though, is he pretty much played modern-day baseball, as in he struck out a lot and hit a lot of home runs back in 2008-2011. So he was almost like a trendsetter of allowing guys to bat in the low 200s as long as they hit a lot of home runs because he led the league in strikeouts all four years of his prime as well as he really batted like 225 on average he was not a very good guy contact hitting guy he had a crap ton of power as you can see from his home run numbers i mentioned but he was not a very good contact guy so it's actually kind of funny to me that he has such good contact in this prime card Looking at his attributes, he has 78 contact versus righty, 89 contact versus lefty, 103 power versus righty, 108 power versus lefty with 41 vision. Hence why I said he struck out a lot. That's kind of where his vision comes from. That's why Gallo's vision so bad in the game as well. You strike out a lot, you got low vision. He has 88 discipline and 93 clutch. For his fielding, he has 69 fielding, 76 arm strength, 70 arm accuracy, 73 reaction, 60 speed, and 55 stealing, 51 base running aggressiveness. Now, this Mark Reynolds, if he's like previous years, he has a super glitchy swing. He has a lot of power. His PCI is going to be itty-bitty, even on Hall of Fame. On All-Star, it's going to be all right because he has good contact, but he still has low vision. He's going to have the PCI size of about a Joey Gallo, 
Maybe a little bit bigger because of contact and his vision is a little bit higher. But he's still not going to have a very big PCI. And when he does make contact with the ball, it's going to go a long ways. At this point in the game, this Mark Reynolds pretty much useless to most people other than maybe a pinch hitter. Or to use for certain events here and there. Like I said, throw him in the moonshot event. Get those five RBIs to get the extra 20 program stars. Let's take a quick look at his quirks. His quirks are hitting machine, bomber, walker, pressure cooker, and unbreakable. He actually surprisingly has what I consider the three best quirks in hitting machine, bomber, and walker. So that's kind of curious. Um, I wouldn't think that he excels at drawing walks and check swinging considering he struck out so much in his career. But hey, it's a virtual baseball game. Sometimes SDS is a little off when it comes to assigning attributes to the player statistics when they were a real player. I mean, could they really come out with like a guy that should be like 83 or 84 overall, Mark Reynolds? Probably not because at that point in the game, he's absolutely useless. Even at 90 overall right now, he's pretty useless in the game compared to like what you might want to have for your third base or first baseman. Because of this, I'm going to give this card with a low vision and everything else going on. It does have a lot of power so and a glitchy swing. So I'm going to give him two Chewies because he's absolutely free. And he does have a lot of power and he might have a use in an event or something. But for the most part, I think this Mark Reynolds is actually pretty useless at this point in the game. Other than getting you some program stars. So I mentioned that once you unlock this Mark Reynolds, you can hand him in for 20 program stars. Let me show you where you can do that at. Just so you guys know, I'm sure most of you already can figure it out by yourselves, but it's just a little bit of help for you guys here. So you're going to go to the home screen. You're going to click on the fifth inning tile. Inside the fifth inning tile, you're going to go down to collections. Inside collections, you're going to go to prime Mark Reynolds. You're going to select it. And bada bing, bada boom, Mark Reynolds is right there. You just select them, turn them in, and it'll give you 20 program stars. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Guys, that's how you do the player program for the Mark Reynolds Prime card. I hope the video helped you guys out about what to do, about the easiest way to go about it. Knock out those moments. Knock out that game against the Arizona Diamondbacks on All-Star. Then take this Mark Reynolds, put him in the event, get those five RBIs with him, give your 40 program stars. Be a really easy way to get up to 300 program stars for a fifth inning program. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day and be safe.